What's up, my dudes? So the other day I got a package from Homzot, one of my subscribers, that had a bunch of different fragrances in it, including four parfums, the Marleys, that I haven't tried, two exclusives, and two other fragrances. Um, and so I'm going to do a two-part video. I'm going to uh, do a review for the first two now, and then next week I'm going to be reviewing the exclusives. In this video, I'm going to be reviewing Parfums de Marley Hobdon and Parfums de Marley Carlisle. So without further ado, let's get it. Alright, welcome back my dudes. So this is Randy aka Fragrance Dude back with another fragrance video. As always, like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, and also if you would consider following me on TikTok and Instagram under the same name or at Fragrance Dude, I'd greatly appreciate it. So again, thank you Hamzat for sending me all these decants. He first sent me Hobdon a few weeks ago, which I am just about out of. As you can tell, I wore through it. And then I was talking on my live like last week where I said I didn't try uh, Carlisle or any of the exclusives because they don't have uh, Carlisle or the exclusives at my uh, Nordstrom. So he sent me Carlisle, which I'm going, I've tried twice now. And then also uh, he sent me Leighton exclusive and or exclusive and Pegasus exclusive, which I will review again in a couple days. So I'm just gonna start out here telling you a little bit about Hobdon. I will spray whatever is left on it here onto a piece of paper and let you know what I get as well as give you the note breakdown. So it's advertised as an amber, warm, and spicy fragrance and the main notes that you get from this, top notes are saffron and olibinum, the mid notes are apple, woods, and rose, and the base notes are myrrh, caramel, and ambergris. So, um, every time I spray this on, I get something different. Um, not crazy different, but I mean like in comparison to other fragrances. So when you first spray this on, um, even though the caramel's in the base and the green apple's in the mid, I believe, the green apple and the caramel are right up top and you put green apple and you put caramel together, what do you have? You have like a caramel apple. It does give you that vibe for about five to 10 seconds. And then that kind of starts to become more of a background. It's more of a, they're a little bit more separated than together as a caramel apple. Uh, but it's sweet, it's juicy, it's a little bit fruity. And then you also do get saffron in there. Uh, saffron always draws comparisons to other fragrances because when saffron is used, it's usually gonna smell the same as the way that it's used in other fragrances, um, for the most part at least. And in this one, it just comes off like a little bit of a smooth spice mixed in there. So you get that smooth spice with the caramel apple. It reminds you a lot of fall. So this fragrance, if there was one fragrance out of the entire Parfums de Marley line that I can say reminds me of fall, it is this. It is a super fall fragrance. You get that caramel, you get the apple, you get the spice. Um, you also do get a little bit of a smokiness from the olibanum coming in there. You also get some myrrh to give it some sweetness and a little bit of like a vanilla take on it as well. Um, and then the uh, it reminds me of a bunch of different fragrances, uh, whether it be something like One Million Perve mixed with uh, Ludissi Noir Ombre, which is like the only Ludissi I like. Uh, it doesn't smell exactly like them. It's just to give you an idea. Um, <clears throat> so this fragrance doesn't change too much. Uh, as you work your way into the mid, that saffron dissipates a bit, that smokiness dissipates a bit, and then that caramel, the apple kind of dissipates as that caramel does stay there. Once you get into the base, you get a little bit of an earthiness, a little bit of a woods coming in. Um, the woods comes off almost like, like a little bit of an animalic woods, almost like a guyac wood or an oud or something like that, but not for a very long time, and it's not horrible. Um, it's just the woods comes off um, just not it doesn't fit in the fragrance very well but it's only there for a very short period of time then it gets to be more of like a normal woods in the background and then you have that ambergris that's giving it like a little bit of an earthiness in there um, but it's you just get a bit of a smokiness added to that sweetness and a bit of this earthiness from the patchouli and the ambergris coming in and that is the base uh, it's more of just like a sweet caramel um, myrrh mixture mixed with those spices. Outside of that, it's a really nice fragrance. If the opening uh, with that apple stayed there throughout the entire fragrance, I would absolutely think that this was gonna be my favorite fragrance in the line. But with that said, 
Um, it doesn't, and the dry down is a little bit more boring to me. Um, and the sweetness comes off a little bit synthetic, but with that said, it's nothing horribly synthetic or anything like that. I do like this fragrance a lot. I would definitely wear this fragrance, and if I found that I found it at a good deal, I think I would definitely wear it. Uh, it's more, again, based on fall and winter. It's more of a really like a fall scent. Like if you ever found a fall centric scent, this would be it. Uh, with that said, it is a not a heavy projector. The five or six times that I wore it, it was just a moderate projector, and it lasted about eight hours. So like an average parfums to Marley. Um, and it's really nice. I mean, and nobody's going to think you smell bad. When my wife smelled this, she said that she really liked it. She goes, it's not one of my favorites, but I do like it. Um, so that was her reaction. My reaction is, I think I like it a lot. I don't think it's one of my favorites. But with that said, I would put Leighton, Ojean, Harad all above it. With that said, I do like Hobdon. I would like to wear on, get it more. I might get it like a travel spray if they have that or something like that to wear it more. Uh, overall, it's a really nice fragrance and I would definitely recommend that you try it if you're looking for something that has that sweet caramel apple, a little bit of smokiness, a little bit of earthiness, pretty much a little bit of everything going on. Um, does it set itself apart from other fragrances? A little bit in the opening for the first like 20 minutes and then it kind of just becomes uh, very similar to other fragrances that I've uh, mentioned before. But yeah, it's a really nice fragrance. Going into the next one. And I did save the best for last out of these, I can tell you that. And so this is Parfums de Marley Carlisle. So I don't know why I haven't tried this. I mean, obviously it's like 350. It's one of the more expensive ones out there for the Parfums de Marley line. Um, I'm going to let this dry down for a second because the opening few minutes is not as good. I will give you the note breakdown here and talk about it a bit until I smell it. So the top notes for Carlisle are nutmeg and green apple. The mid notes are tonka bean and rose. And the base notes are patchouli and vanilla. So Carlisle, when it first opens up, you get a lot of nutmeg coming in there and then just a little bit of that green apple. And then even though it's not in the notes on Fragranica, uh, there is saffron in this, and I know that because I was smelling it next to ha uh, Hobdon, and when I did, I was like, yeah, that's definitely saffron. It's more of like a softer and smoother saffron mixed into the opening, and it goes away at about a half hour, um, and then it actually comes back at about like an hour and a half, which is kind of weird, uh, but the opening is nice. Uh, where this fragrance really hits its stride, it's probably about eight to ten minutes, uh, so that apples there and stuff like that, but it's nothing prominent like other parfums from Marley apples Once you get into about 10 minutes into the fragrance That is where this vanilla and then also some tonka bean and other sweet notes really come pouring into this fragrance It sweetens it up and that's why I didn't really want to smell the tester here in the opening um, Because the opening again, it's good and it's gonna smell good But if you're one of those people that likes to go off the opening and buy that you might not want it You might not buy this fragrance But if you're able to wait eight to ten minutes, this fragrance really gets really nice uh, So the tonka bean the vanilla a lot of different like a little bit of earthiness comes in and that spice and it's really really a good fragrance it's not overly sweet. It's just a very nicely blended fragrance. Um, it's warm. It's dark. It's deep. It's overall, it's just a really something different that I haven't smelled from the Parfums de Marley line. Uh, again, uh, it does remind me a little bit, and I mean a little bit, especially in the opening of... Um, I was talking to Hamza the other day of Mancera's Red Tobacco. So if you do like Red Tobacco, you would like the opening of Carlisle. But once Carlisle again gets about 10 minutes into the fragrance, that's where it really changes. Becomes more of a warm, spicy, and sweet fragrance with that tonka bean giving a little bit of a powdery feel. And then you get that vanilla really creeping in. And then you get a little bit of a woody earthiness in the base as well. And then again, at about an hour, for some reason, that saffron, I don't know if it's just I can't notice it until then, but the saffron mixes in and it's like a sweet and spicy, uh, like the vanilla, if you like took vanilla and cinnamon, but it's like a vanilla and like a little bit of spice mixing together. It is very, very good. Again, you get a little bit of woods in the background, really well mixed. And again, that patchouli comes in there. It's never too strong, never too heavy. It just provides a little bit of an earthiness, just kind of as a supporting note. 
all, all, overall, I would actually probably put this at number three or number two on my list of Parfums to Marley fragrances. I did spray this for my wife. She did not like the opening, but then I wore it later and she said to me, it was like a, about an hour after I put it on, she goes, what are you wearing? And I said the same thing that you hated earlier and she goes, that's amazing. I must just not like the opening and it's true. So the dry down to this is fantastic. And while the opening, it leaves a lot to be desired. It's just kind of like Tom Ford's Noir Extreme where you don't know what's going on with the opening and then it turns into this beautiful vanilla. This one does the same thing except for it has vanilla, tonka bean, patchouli, uh, woods, a little bit of spice from the nut, uh, not the nutmeg, the saffron. It's just overall, it's really nice. That nutmeg from the opening does get into the base. Um, I just didn't talk about it because as you work your way into the base, it more just becomes a background spice. But overall, I would say Carlisle is definitely better than Hobdon. I need to test them up. I mean, obviously, you got Leighton and Ojan at the top. Nothing's going to pass those up. I think it's either going, this is going to be number three tied with Harad. It's just they're two different types of fragrances. Um, and while they could be worn in the same type of situations, I just see them as two different types of fragrances and they both smell amazing. So I'll put that at number three for now. It might jump up to number two and tie with Leighton. I honestly don't know, but that's how good it is. Uh, if you guys haven't smelled out Carlisle, you definitely need to. Again, everybody thank uh, Hamzat in the, in the comments for sending these to me so I can review for, for you. And either next week or in a few days, depending on when I post this, I will be doing these two which are Parfums de Marley Pegasus Exclusive and Parfums de Marley Latent Exclusive. Both of them that I have smelled one time each and I wanna give you my full thoughts. But thank you guys so much. Again, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll be back with another one. Peace.